No, that's kind of big. It's 3 minutes and 31 seconds. I love cooking and in cooking, one of the most critical is time. I want to build a circuit that will be my kitchen timer. 1 minute, 2 minutes, and 3 minute interval. Of course, in this project, we will use again our very favorite 555 timer IC. For our schematic, I want you to go on this website. This is the schematic of a 555 monostable circuit. In this configuration, the output pulse will be dependent on the value of R, this resistor, and on this capacitor. This website has a good calculator here that we can use to check what will be the output pulse width of our kitchen timer circuit. I already made a pre-calculation on this and then for cap the capacitance, we will use 30 microfarad and then for the resistance, we will have three different values for the three different timing of our kitchen timer circuit. For one minute, I will use 1.8 mega ohms. That's 59.4, a little bit short, but that should be enough for our kitchen timer. And then for two minutes, it will be 3.6 mega ohms. That's... 1.18 for the 3 minute interval it will be 5.6 mega ohms that's a little bit more of 4 seconds there are a few things that we need to add in this schematic we need to change this r here into a selectable three different resistance the resistance will be based on what we calculated before for 1 minute, that's 1.8 mega ohm. For 2 minutes, 3.6 mega ohm. And then for 3 minutes would be 5.6 mega ohms. We also need to add here on our out output a uh, LED. So there will be a limiting resistor there. Then we, this will be on the ground. And then we will have here a buzzer that will indicate that the time is already elapsed. The LED here will be on during on this high state, this one. During That will be on during high. When after the timing has elapsed, let's say for one minute, it will be low. And during that time, if it's low, the buzzer will now be activated. This is the state of the buzzer, which is low. Using a PNP here, we can activate the buzzer. We can also say that the timer is going on if the LED is on. And then if the timer is, do is done, then the buzzer now will be on because the logic will now be inverted. We can only reset the timing if we press again the trigger switch here. Let's now build the circuit. Here is now our kitchen timer circuit with the buzzer connected as well as the USB power. It is now powered on that's why there is a light here. This light will indicate that the timer is actually running. This push button will start the time. And here are the selector. This will be for the, the first one will be for one minute. The second one, second one will be for the two minute interval. And then the last one is for the three minute interval. Let's, let's see how this performs and about the accuracy on time. We now have here our setup for testing. So this is our timer and then this is our kitchen timer project. I will now power it, power it on. So I press the start simultaneously and it's, it, 
it's now starting to count. Okay. Our lap is 1 minute and 8 seconds. That's for 1 minute. Let's now switch our selector for the 2 minute interval. Now we're running for the 2 minute interval. Now we're past 2 minutes. Let's see what is the margin the tolerance now it's 2 minutes and 16 seconds let's now work on the third interval our selector is now set for the 3 minute interval I will now plug it again on the USB port and let's start counting again this time for 3 minutes now we're near the 3 minute mark let's see how it will perform usually this the 555 have some tolerance on the passive components that we use let me prepare for a stop Now that's kind of big. It's 3 minutes and 31 seconds. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. Thank you.